Welcome to Vivid History, bring you vivid and fascinating historical stories through colorized photos. It is truly unfortunate that history often overlooks the remarkable achievements and actions of women as it deprives us of truly captivating stories. Here are 20 fascinating women from history whose incredible tales deserve much more recognition. Ada Robel, a courageous woman born in Poland, escaped a concentration camp and formed a Jewish resistance group. She led a life of constant danger, ambushing the Nazis and even performing surgery on herself when injured. After the war, she moved to the U.S. and reflected on the importance of survival as a form of resistance against the Germans. Belva Ann Lockwood, an early advocate for women's rights, fought against opposition to become the first female lawyer to argue a case before the U.S. Supreme Court. Despite facing discrimination and challenges, Lockwood's persistence and lobbying efforts led to the passing of an anti-discrimination bill, allowing qualified female lawyers to practice in federal courts. In 1879, she was finally sworn into the Supreme Court bar and became the first woman to argue a case before the highest court in the country. Rosa Shanina, a determined Russian woman born in a small village, defied her parents' wishes to pursue education and eventually became a skilled sniper during World War II. With unwavering bravery, she fearlessly took down dozens of German soldiers, earning her the status of a national heroine before her tragic death in 1945. Despite being heavily pregnant, Katerina Sforza took charge and led a group of fighters to seize Rome's Castel Sant'Angelo, the city's most important stronghold. Her fearless actions and strategic dominance over the Vatican made her a force to be reckoned with during a time of chaos and political turmoil. After her husband's assassination and her capture, Katerina Sforza was released by her captors to negotiate the surrender of a nearby fortress. However, once inside, she defied the Orses family by boldly threatening to have her children killed if they didn't back down. Her fearless act intimidated the Orses and ultimately led to her victory, as she reclaimed control of Forley and freed her children. Katerina Sforza, after falling in love with a younger man and removing her own son from power, faced opposition from the Borgia clan. Despite refusing all peace offers and fighting fiercely, she was eventually captured and exiled to Florence. Tomoe Gozen, Japan's most renowned female samurai, was a fearless warrior known for her bravery, physical prowess, and mastery of various weapons. Despite societal expectations, Tomo pursued a career as a warrior and achieved fame for her exceptional skills, notably during the Battle of Awazu, where she fought valiantly against overwhelming odds. Trung Ni and Trung Trak, Vietnam's national heroines, led a rebellion in 40 AD against Chinese domination. With predominantly female armies, they successfully seized Chinese forts and citadels, ultimately chasing the Chinese out of Vietnam and proclaiming Trung Trac as queen. Despite their eventual defeat, the Trung sisters planted the seeds of Vietnamese national identity and prevented the complete absorption of Vietnam into China. Fu Hao, a remarkable woman in ancient China, was not only a wife and mother, but also a skilled general, priestess, and politician. She commanded a force of 13,000 men, the largest ever assembled under any one Shang general, and successfully expanded and pacified the Shang borders, leaving behind a legacy of military victories and a lavish tomb filled with treasures. Grayan and Mahal, also known as Grace O'Malley, 
was an Irish heroine who fearlessly fought against the English on land and sea. Despite being vilified by her English foes and ignored by contemporary chroniclers, she became a legendary figure in native folklore and a symbol of the Irish fight for freedom. Grain Mahowl, a noblewoman from an influential Irish family, turned to piracy after her husband's death due to misogynistic laws that prevented her from inheriting his property. She built a pirate fleet and sought vengeance against her lover's killers, earning her the renowned nickname Dark Lady of Duna. Grain Mahowl, also known as the Pirate Queen, took revenge on the McMahons by seizing Duna Castle and surrounded a church to capture a thief who sought sanctuary. She became Ireland's sea mistress, preying on shipping and coastal communities, and even led a raid on Cox Castle, which was later renamed Hen's Castle in her honor. Grain allied with Irish lords against English expansion, but after her sons and brother were captured, she sailed to England to petition Queen Elizabeth I for their release, refusing to bow as she did not recognize Elizabeth as the Queen of Ireland. Despite making a promise to cease assisting Irish rebels, Gran resumed her support when Elizabeth failed to uphold her end of the bargain and reportedly died in one of her castles in 1603. Dolores Hart, once a rising starlet in Hollywood, made the surprising decision to leave behind fame and fortune to pursue a life as a nun. Finding solace and a sense of belonging in a Connecticut convent, she ultimately took her final vows in 1970 and now resides there as Mother Dolores. Mary Wolverston, also known as Lady Killigrew, was an English gentlewoman who led a secret life as a pirate. She followed in her father's footsteps, who was a gentleman pirate himself, and even her second husband, Sir John Killigrew, was involved in piracy. However, unlike her father, Lady Killigrew and her husband engaged in piracy not only against enemy ships in international waters, but also in English waters, targeting both foreign and English vessels. Lady Killigrew's downfall occurred when she audaciously led a raiding party to seize a Spanish ship in English waters, causing a potential diplomatic crisis. Her reckless actions led to her arrest and conviction, but she managed to escape execution through bribes and a commutation from Queen Elizabeth. Sichel Gaida of Salerno, a six-foot Amazon and warrior princess, regained her place as the duchy's most privileged woman after helping her brother regain power. She then married Robert Giscard, the leader of the Normans, and for the next 18 years, they consolidated their hold on southern Italy together. In a daring move, Sichel Gaida led her forces into battle against a powerful Byzantine army, determined to keep them pinned until reinforcements arrived. Despite being badly wounded, she held her ground until reinforcements turned the tide and secured victory. However, their plans to conquer Byzantium were ultimately abandoned due to conflicts back in Italy, and Sichel Gaida retired to Salerno where she passed away five years later. The Illyrian queen, Tuda, challenged Roman dominance in the Adriatic Sea and defended her kingdom's expansionist policies and piratical activities. However, when Roman envoys were killed, Rome declared war and ultimately forced Tuda to surrender, signing a peace treaty that reduced her kingdom's territory. Francis Glessner Lee, a wealthy Chicago socialite, defied societal expectations by pursuing her passion for crime-solving and forensic science. Inheriting her family's fortune at the age of 52, she made a significant contribution to Harvard's Department of Legal Medicine and created intricate crime scene dioramas, known as Nutshell Studies of Unexplained Deaths, 
which are still used today to train homicide detectives. In 1777, 16-year-old Sybil Luddington made a daring 40-mile midnight ride to warn the patriots of approaching British troops, traveling over unfamiliar roads and even fending off a highwayman. Despite her heroic efforts, Sybil never received the same level of recognition as Paul Revere and her story was largely forgotten. In 